Hi, Comic Book Girl here again. I'm pleased to see that you've returned. The fact that you've come back means that you are passionate about caring for your comic books and that you recognise the importance of unplastifying them. Now together, we will beat the evils of Mela X and his henchmen, the Agents of Destruction. So, you have now unplastified your collection and you're wondering what to do next. Well, comic books should be stored like with like, so paper with paper. Please don't use any old paper or card that you have lying around. Some papers can do as much damage as the plastic bags. Now, the paper or card that I use is the ones that are used by conservators um, to store historic documents. And this is an acid-free, lignin-free, buffered Bristol board. And this is an acid-free, lignin-free, manila paper. Any paper or card that you use should be recognised for long-term use with historic precious items. It should be acid-free and remain so for the duration of its use. It should be undyed and it should cont contain no materials which have an adverse effect on your precious comic books stored within. Now, a word of caution here. Be careful when you go to the high street or when you buy papers off the internet. If they're marked archival, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are suitable for long-term storage of your objects. It simply means that they are suitable for creating an archive with. So you now know what papers that you need, or cards, that you need to use. And what you do is we make a very simple folder, like so. And your comic book goes inside the folder. Now it's one comic book per folder. Please don't be tempted to put any more comic books in each folder. This folder then goes inside a box which is made to the size of the folder. It's very important that your box is the right size, that it's custom made, because what you don't want is when you move it, the objects inside shaking around and banging and becoming more damaged. Also, please don't be tempted to overfill the boxes because that can also create an awful lot of damage to the comic books stored inside. Now previously, these materials have only been accessible to conservators and to museum heritage professionals. Now, I want to change this. I want to make these materials accessible to you. So if you would like any advice or want to know where you can purchase these materials, please contact me on my Facebook, facebook.com, unplastic, or on my Twitter, at underscore comic book girl, and I'll be very pleased to help you. I also want to help you in your quest to unplastify your comic book collections, and I have a bespoke service where I can come and visit you and tailor make a plan to ensure that your, uh, your comic books are preserved and won't be destroyed over time. Now, I have over 20 years experience of fighting the evils of Mela X and his agents of destruction. And in that time, I have won every fight and have won so many battles and all my victories. Now, I will continue to provide advice there's so much more that I would like to tell you and would like to share with you. So please continue to follow me and please continue to unplastic your collections and to spread the word to others. Thank you. See you again soon.